So a quick one to all our viewers and all our audience out there. If you have any business contract with any of the guests who have appeared on the Agribusiness Weekend show, kindly note that the Agribusiness Weekend team will not be heard responsible or liable to any business transaction between a client and any of the guests that has appeared on the show. So please make sure you do all your research and all your confirmations before involving in any business transactions with any guest that has appeared on the show. Thank you so much for always loving Agro Business Weekend. Hello, a beautiful morning to you. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing and informative episode of Agribusiness Weekend. I'm Joy Lavara. Thank you so much for joining me. A big thank you to all those who are subscribing and you're sharing and you're liking and you're commenting on all our videos on the Agribusiness Weekend channel on all our social media platforms. We love you so much, the Agribusiness Weekend team. We love you. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel and you haven't followed us yet, this is the best time to click that red button over there and subscribe thank you so much for joining me If you just joined us this is agribusiness weekend you're right in time now do you know that renewable energy sources produce no greenhouse gases and do not produce any toxic substance or pollutants that can harm us or the environment so today we would be looking at um, using agricultural waste for renewable energy and with this we are referring to the word briquettes I know you've um i think some time ago we had a youth who came to hang out with you in agri if you haven't watched that episode of hang out with you in agri you can click the red button over there that the link will be showed um, below to watch that episode of um hang out with you in agri on how the safest way to preserve our foods so today let's talk about using agricultural waste for renewable energy and on set with me is the ceo for the breakheads people um and the ceo for carlos agro homes engineer wale karumi you're welcome sir now just to clear my doubt did i get that name correctly yes you got it correctly all right <laughs> now looking at him alone you you think of oh, man daddy should be retired you know he should be resting but he is doing a lot in the should i call it the renewable energy sector yes he is doing a lot in the renewable energy sector thank you so much for coming to the show sir Was i must um, appreciate you thank you for bringing me on because um, this is a passion and we think we need to open up this sector seriously to especially the young people that's great now talking about renewable energy there are so many persons who really do not know what renewable energy is maybe for me i'm lost so tell us let's start from the scratch okay so when we talk about renewable energy what does it really mean let's look at it from this angle the sun there's photosynthesis on the plants mm -hmm. and all that. It goes back there into the plants. The plants, when now we grow it, we eat it up. It comes back again. So when it, it, it's, it, it's a cycle. Okay. It's a, this is energy that we well, we say is renewable. That means it can it can replicate itself again. Mm. So I mean, something has come from almost a dead plant. Then we're now bringing it back to make charcoal okay. to create energy. So in simple language, that is a small definition of renewing the energy. It's, 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 a, it's a circle. Hmm. The sun photosynthesis goes into plants and all that. Now, when you either, I can tell you even as much as faces can, be, can turn to renewable energy. So it goes into a circle of a chemical thing like that, natural chemical thing, and then it goes back into a dead state. In that dead state, we now 
go back using a, a, a process called pyrolysis okay. to bring it back to to use for the energy. That means when going by pyrolysis, we're trying to bring up the carbon back. So carbon monoxide that is being excluded because the problem of carbon monoxide in the world is how to really use the emission of carbon monoxide. Mm. So it's a circle that goes round and it's coming back. We now use it to energy. When it goes back to energy, you find that when we paralyze, we take out all those gases again, they point off, mm -hmm. and then it becomes carbon. Carbon on its own is a wonderful substance. Oh, okay. Now, how is it possible to use agricultural waste for renewable energy? So I imagine I have a coconut or I have um, um, a palm kernel, whatever. So how is it possible to use that into something that is will also be useful but basically well like i said uh, recently i've been reading about a lot about it and everybody is saying don't talk don't say you're doing charcoal anymore say you're doing biology biological charcoal okay because there seems to be a difference between the charcoal and with charcoal mm -hmm. and this system of bringing about briquettes okay because briquettes is more of high carbon Okay. Then no more wood charcoal. Okay. And that's why you see we can pulverize um, the biochar into very fine dust and then use it to create briquettes. Mm. This is it, 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 it's a process, a very simple process. It's the same process with people don't believe that we can create charcoal in hours. In a few hours I can create I can I can take ordinary brass okay. and create it into charcoal. Hmm. In a few some in a few hours it's done. You understand? And then we call it carbonization or the priority state. So definitely we will take a look. Virtually all agricultural wastes can be converted to biochar. So uh, plantain can be converted to biochar. Plantain you mention it. Wow. Just mention it sawdust. No sawdust is one like yeah. From the tree. Yes, yes. But now it's a it dust in our place from just cutting the timber. Yeah. Then some what happens when you when you look at on a charcoal, it is about using proper wood to convert okay. to charcoal. Okay. But we're saying no, let's leave wood because deforestation is one of the one of the things that is mutating against our climate today. Okay. We want to stop deforestation. Okay. Yes. We have a huge amount of waste all over the palm kernel shell from palm oil, empty food bunch from the same palm kernel thing. Like yeah. Sawdust, uh, maize hops, cannot shell. Uh, mm -hmm. Just mention to mention bamboo. All these can be used for breaking. Anything that is most likely fibrous. So when we now talk about you know, living healthy, having good, mm. yeah. So of what importance is this renewable energy to our environment, yeah. our health? The good thing about it is when we talk about turning them to bigots, they move, they become almost ninety percent smokeless. I'm sure we have some some um, samples. Let's let's see them. You see, for instance, this is from. Coconut shell that you throw away. Mm. The husk can convert it to the same briquettes. You see how hard they are. This is just a mixture of the okay, binder. Okay. Uh, the binder wow. is natural hard. binder. And uh, basically, we say starch. Okay. It can be corn starch, it can be cassava starch. It's all like natural. So, everything you have is all natural. Mm. The waste, coconut shell, the husk. The um, you can use bones too, you can convert bones too to break it. Wow, so virtually any wastes. I mean, imagine uh, if it comes to cocoa shells that uh, you throw away, cashew nuts <laughs> shells. Oh, wow, mention it, all of it can be converted to. Biochar. This is to ensure that nothing is wasted. And so we actually biochar. don't have waste. Yes. So biochar itself is a very it's it's a highly absorbent okay. material. It's very porous. And the rolling times 
the Amazons, South America. They put it back in the soil yeah, and then they found that the cells came back to life. Wow. So you can use yes. this? So if I convert it to briquettes, so because if I put a binder okay. on its own, okay. I can use it to make a bank fertilizer. Wow. For the soil? For the soil. So bring back that soil because it absorbs. That's A D S O R B. Mm. That's all the tree itself. So when it's put back in the soil, next time, once it's put in that thing, it will release back those because it has dropped very those good against. Okay. Those nutrients. That goes to the soil. Mm-hmm. So when you put it back in the soil, it now releases back into the soil. So soil sequestration. So and we notice that when we use biochar fertilizer, the insects don't come easily here. Your plants they almost grow very well. Mm. So we don't need other, those um, toxic things we call uh, fertilizer. Mm. So the farmer can go back to the yes, farm. That. They create energy for themselves. And ordinary charcoal, where I put this ordinary bio chair in a place, it, it absorbs a lot of toxins. It's like poison. Mm. Okay. Have you noticed that maybe I'm going when you're small, they say, oh, teach right now. You take, take charcoal and salt and use it to brush your teeth. You wonder why? Oh, but, that, but does that really work? Fantastic, <laughs> fantastic product. Wow, okay. Fantastic product because, you see, by the time you add some salt or some salt, you don't correct to it. It will activate that coal. And that's what, you see, you use activated carbon to brush your teeth, teeth like that. Once you any teeth like that, you must have it. Like you have, um, Charcoal toothpaste. Mm, yes. Charcoal products. Yeah, Have you seen that. Why? Charcoal ice cream. Mm. Because of the effect. For the transformation, charcoal, if, for instance, if you take poison now, or you take an overdose or anything, just grind, grind charcoal, or say charcoal in general, drink it. It's good, it's good to help it. Wow. But again, I don't, I'm not a doctor, so I should not put me. But oh, okay. Because it's, because it's very good for first aid. Okay. Um, for instance, when I work, my workers have a, a cut with me. The first thing I do is activate a carbon on it as the first thing because it will drop all the toxins at least to first, at the first, um, uh, the first aid, the first aid before anything. And sometimes I had a small boy had a deep wound. I saw it. I think I didn't put anything back to put some. And then added some no, sorry. but I feel like this this sector, the renewable energy sector, briquette most especially, this sector has not been fully unnerved. The potentials in this sector has been oh. fully, because I, I don't think so many persons know about this. At all, just yesterday somebody asked me, can I get under tons to deliver export? You know something? I don't encourage exports. Hmm. You call me the export. My first reaction is no. We're not, I'm not going to talk to you about export. What can we use it for here? Because we have all sorts of waste here. Look, go to Alamusa or whatever place. You know, it makes it makes you feel sick. Every day you see plantain peel. Um, mention it. Up north, we have a lot of granite shells, rice husk. They are just in abundance. But because we're not investing it, it doesn't make any sense to us. But this is pure, pure energy, clean energy. I mean, for all your grilling and all that, right? And that's why you see us trying to create the stoves. Although, although, although we, for briquettes, we want compact stoves for them. Okay. Not the open stove that you just put charcoal and all the energy. Yeah. You see, you, the stoves are compact, so that the heat is contained there. Yes. And these materials have different calorific values. I must say that people have thought of commercial being the hottest when I say no from my research. Bamboo is still the hottest. Thank you. Bamboo is still the hottest. But people don't know that. You can see, I can see bamboo. Okay, this is for bamboo. Yes. Hmm. The heat, the only value of this is heaven and coconut. But nobody knows about that. That means the opportunities in this value chain is, is still so, very enormous. So enormous because if I want to talk about um, maize husk, maize. Okay, now let me tell you when they, when they harvest maize, they have the stems there standing. Yeah. 
Fantastic! I can convert you to this. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, a lot of things just go in and they burn it off. I'm not talking about the maize cover. Mm -hmm. You know when you take the maize itself and you yes. take out the seeds? Yes. You see how it? Yes, cover. yes. That is another thing. I'm talking about the stems. That they don't, the maize doesn't mean anything to anybody. They just slash it there and there. For it to decay and then they call it compost. You know what compost means? I want to address this and keep it and dry it up. So farmers, you don't need to waste anything, right? You can't waste anything. But I, 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 feel, I feel like anything that has an advantage has a disadvantage, yes? So, I'm sure there are challenges, you know? There As, challenges. Exactly. One, one of the challenges we have is how to convert it, how to carbonize. So is this something that you can do from the comfort of your home? Like, no, okay, no, I don't no. want to... The key thing there is carbonization. And that's one of the things we want to work towards as much as possible. We will want to go maybe onto the bush and all that. Organize way of carbonizing this, creating the charcoal dust. Okay. So people can always, if you have your waste, that can come to you if it's in the bush, we can help you carbonize it, convert it to charcoal dust, biochar. Mm -hmm. Then you can take it away to where it fits. Because Simple, simple molds. You can create wickets. Wow. You understand? So, because people, oh, they want to train and all that. For instance, I was telling my people, uh, they say, oh, the easiest mold <laughs> is as simple as a milk tin. I can just fill it up and bang it up. And it comes out because I have a binder to come as charcoal. Hmm. You can use it for anything. You understand? But to see, the bottom line is, it's not one to educate people, it's better to give them a, a proper training. Like, if you want to follow by training like this, a proper training, you must do around three months. They say, why even though then? You're going to learn a lot. But can, if it's not a two hour thing, I come to you and I just show you, I point and all that. My brother, my sister, you're going to get stuck. For instance, we're trying to come some like some bamboo. Of course, we're trying to do smokeless. Smokeless carbonization and it's not carbonized properly. I said, if I, if I give this one to somebody to go and do it, and it makes this obstacle, I said, I never I won't touch it. But mm -hmm. then we saw the problem, we fixed it, and we got a good result. Because when we carbonize, see, I can tell you for industrial heating, like the cement factory and all that, all of them can use briquettes. Okay. But with different, I mean, different. Yes, yes. I can tell you that like, when mix. Okay, for instance, I mix rice husk in bamboo. And you know the grill you put on the gas cooker? It's meant to have it. So generally, briquette is the way to go. Look at the gas. I mean, you want to cook your beans, you can see it. Oh, I mean, it's going to be cheap. Hmm. Because you make me like the common man. Because I'm sure the, the next thing that comes to mind now yes. is, ah, because this one is not charcoal. So, yes, it will be more, it will be more what, costly. It's, it is biochar. Okay. Processed charcoal. Let me use the word processed charcoal. Okay. Because now we buy, it has, it's, it's, we add a value to it. Okay. It's processed charcoal. So, you see, it must be, ah, this is imported. You know, the funny thing, like, if I say I bring this wicket from, in from Ghana, I just will buy it. So maybe this is a belief. Huh? So wait, we see it's here, right before you. I can I can carbonize with you in a simple system here. Hmm. Just using cans. And you turn to charcoal. You understand? So what we're saying is that we need to train and open them up. We even intend to start to go to schools. I had some young chap come to the general school and I told how she just moved. Ah, they're very excited. So it's energy. Because everybody now thinks of export. We say no. When are we in person export? What do you use it to export to use it here? Because look, the income is not increasing, gas is getting more expensive. How do you want to cook? Mm -hmm. And then this uh, then this industry does not require any special education. That's the beauty. So I don't, I don't want to use the word area boys. For people who have gone to school and they think they have nothing to do, if you clean them dust, 
we can use it to convert to energy. I can tell you, having different mixtures of different materials can give you different carry. Different kind of values. These are opportunities. Opportunities. Are opportunities. Yeah. Guys, opportunities are everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. So if you are a farmer, right. yeah, if you're a farmer, so stop wasting. Stop throwing away your your wastes. You can turn them to renewable energy, right? Next sort of new thing is waste to wealth. Waste to wealth. I like that. I like that word. Waste, waste to, wealth. to wealth. All right, let's take a short break. When we come back, the show continues. Don't go anywhere. Hey, my name is Richie Dog, and I'm here to tell you that you cannot go wrong in the food business, in the agro allied business, as long as you have information, you know what you're doing, you know who you're doing it with. Like every other thing in life, do your research before getting involved. Now I'm here on the set of Agri Business Weekend, hanging out with my lady Joy. Yeah, one of the places where you can get veritable information, verifiable information. Looking for where to go, or how to get involved? They can point you in the right direction. Keep watching. Stay tuned. See you. Welcome back. Now, um, Wale is still on set with us. Now, Wale, before we go into the game session, now imagine so many, like you said a, a minute, some minutes ago, um, the the price for, for gas is increasing, and so many persons are already looking at for an alternative way. Exactly, and kerosene is not helpful at the same time. Now, if you have if you have to use briquettes to cook your food do you need what do you need because i feel like you need a con you can't just use the briquette like that you need a container you need to put it somewhere and somewhere what because so many persons need to hear this with the whole inflation happening right now at the market okay coming to that um briquette is more effective when it's in a compact with compact salaries okay compared to the normal um, charcoal stove that you see all about where do you notice that when you put so much charcoal into those stoves, the heat is up so it just, just goes up. Whereas the heat is supposed to be conserved. You understand? Yeah. Some of the briquettes, when they're born, they, they bring out blue flames. That's why when you call with the old briquettes well, B hives, you see the holes in it, and they just see that you see the blue flame coming. So it turns the intensity of the heat. So when it's compact, it's like that. So we are now producing stores we intend in our own the whole department oh you tend to start producing stores okay made for the briquettes yes because we noticed that people were asking oh we have these briquettes we have these stores so that is our last step because that's a, that's a major factor taps. yes yes but unfortunately you see a lot of people are not doing well in now one of the things that give us a problem to get one of those oh the price is going to look blah 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 see no Come and do this where you can sit on the place and produce many uh, massive numbers of stores mm. as you saw. Because I believe that every home should have a store. The other day, my wife was baking using gas, and gas and got gas. finished. We just took it back to our dream. But the biggest, she finished her uh, baking. We're thinking, we're clicking things like we're quite open the lights, the whole set of, of eight to ten kg of, of biggets. You need to brew your fish and you can use it to bake and all that. The last time I purchased some fish, remember? Yes, Parity. yes, yes. It tastes was good. Yes. And we knew that we could grill a fish, a fish that can. We didn't, those fishes, when we preserve them, we don't put them in the freezer, we just put in a container. Six months, I still fresh. Wow. No more, nothing. Using briquettes. And that's healthy, right? And because they. The, the coal we have used is high, pure, pure, pure carbon. It's safer than... It's healthy. I think that's the word for it. Yes. It's safer than kerosene. <laughs> then the hazards against between gas and and the gas. If you heard about the gas burning down the house, hmm. well, it's pretty good to do that. It's where when they're highly carbonized, like what we're trying to teach people, don't just do briquettes, we want you to do high quality briquettes. And it's just a, a thin line there. Mm. So, because the good quality briquette will smolder. It will not 
bring up flame. Okay. It will just be giving you heat. Heat. And that's all you and need, actually. The about it, the ashes are fantastic. And they're growing by the culture. You sprinkle those ashes onto your plants. Wow. So you see, it's not like Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. So you can see it's a big circle. Yeah, it's a so, very big circle. So like big. nothing is wasted, actually. Nothing, nothing is wasted. It's something that we need. We, we want more and more people to come into this field. Because every in every corner of Nigeria, there's a radical waste, um, biochar, um, biomass waste that is just going like that. Then let me tell you, this same charcoal sometimes, well, while we activate it, they put it to feet. And they found out that putting some carbon into the feed of chicken and all that may, may brings them healthier. Mm. It, it keeps the system fine, they grow healthier, they're fine. You know, these are things, I don't know, this is, we start from one, is I'm trying to find out this thing. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we cannot be this thing, we just have to go ahead. To do it. I'm praying that I had that small people coming to this. Wow, right. Wally, this is interesting. This is so interesting. All right, so let, let's, 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 let's come to the game session. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the farmer's game session. We call it the farmer's game session. So the intention is to make our guests have fun whenever they come to the agribusiness weekend show. So we have 10 questions on our list. Mm, yeah, oh, look at the different Don't worry, you're not going to be answering 10 questions. You're going to be freaking three numbers randomly. Yeah, so now there's a relief. I can see it on your face. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I, I, don't know, I don't know what to expect from um, All right, so we have, um, you just pick three questions out of the 10. So let's pick a number. Let me get your first number. Eight. Number eight. Eight, number eight, where's eight? Okay, so Wale, um, tongue twisters, you're gonna say, she sees cheese. She sees cheese. You say that five times, fast. Uh, she Don't. Sees, she, 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 she. And then I tongue twist. <laughs> That's why it's called tongue twisters. All right, say that five times and don't make a mistake. Okay. What's, what do you want to say again? The, she sees cheese. I start. She sees cheese. 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 <laughs> All right, clap for him. Clap for him. Oh, you get that. Now, did I, did I tell you that when you fail a question, you take a leak from our line? I forgot to tell you that. Okay, but you, know, let, let's, you passed. You passed number one. So let's hope you get the two other two. Let me get your second number. Since there are 10 again. No, 10 questions. Number 10. Number 10. Okay, now, while these following questions, you will fail if you answer yes or no. So, these questions, you are not to answer yes or no. If you give me a yes or no answer, you fail. I should not, I should not mention yes. Or no. Hmm. Is that understood? Okay. Is that understood? Okay. All right, so can we go? Are you the only child of your parents? I'm not the only child of my parents. <laughs> that was right. That was right. Okay, second question. Have you ever lived in another country? I've not, I've not lived in another country. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you another question. Have you ever taken a road trip? I've never taken a road trip. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Ah, oh, Wale, you don't want to leak. My, you don't want to take a leak with my line. Don't you want to take a leak with my line? All right, let me get your last number. Last number. Number one. Number one. Okay. So you're gonna recite the Lord's prayer. Recite the Lord's prayer. So mm. I'm sure there is a way to do it. You put your hands together. That's how they taught us in school. So let's go. Um. I'm Father of the Lord in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, the Lord be God, amen. He wants to be the great God. I'm going to ask a question, please forgive those who trust us. No, no, no. Why did you feel? Why did you feel? Take a leak. Oh my God. I got you, I got you. Take a leak. Oh my God, I, I'm saying it now. How can you just go to that show? You Take a leak, please. You, you, you missed the line, you missed the line. Just an up, yes. Just take a leak, one, yes. Ah, oh, how do you feel? How do you, okay, that's, the only access is going to take a leak. 
<laughs> all right thank you so much Riley, for coming to the show we had a great time with you and on behalf of i and the agribusiness weekend team want to say thank you for coming to the show this thank is for you, you all right so with this we've come to the end of today's episode of agribusiness weekend thank you so much for staying tuned with us till i come your way next time now the renewable energy sector i'm just getting to know that it's a very huge and very um huge with potentials yes that's the word and lot lot and lot of opportunities so farmers don't throw away your waste um consumers don't throw away your waste there is so much you can do with that waste that you are throwing away and there is so much it's like converting waste to waste that's the word all right so till i come your way next time do well to follow us on all our social media platforms and please help us to expand our family base subscribe to our youtube channel do have a great weekend i'm joyla baran bye for now <laughs>